Hi everyone, happy Monday and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a lemon themed grapevine wreath. Now I have to admit, I have not put a wreath on my front door since Christmas. I don't know why, I just haven't. But I'm going to be making this lemon themed one because this will carry me right now through summer. So let's get started. First thing I'm starting off with is my wreath that I got this wreath at Goodwill a while back and it had some other flowers on it. And you know, it still has the tag on it and it says $6.99 and I, you know, it's been so long I can't remember if I got it any percentage off or not. But even $7, that's good. Like I said, it had a bunch of flowers on it that I didn't like so I took them off and I like this part. So I kept this much. So now I'm gonna start with this lemon pick that I have. I'm just going to stick it in. Now, I don't really uh, do a lot of wiring or anything like that, unless I was going to keep it permanent, and I know a lot of people might even use a hot glue gun, which is perfectly fine. But mine is going to be semi-permanent, so I just tuck them in. And I have these other little picks. I'm just going to tuck in here. here. Okay, now I have some of these. Now these are actually on a really big pick and they were actually brown. I got them, I think I got them last year at Hobby Lobby and I painted them green because I'm doing a yellow and green theme here. So let's go ahead and tuck these in. I'm going to put these at the end. Okay. These easy to tuck in up there. There we go. Put this one up here. So I'm mainly just going to be doing mine on one side of the wreath here. So I'm going to hang it this way, with this being the top. Okay. So I have a few flowers that I want to use. And I have some of these. And these are green. They have a little touch of uh, pink on them, which is fine. And then I have these roses here that I want to stick in. Let me make it a little more elegant looking. So let's stick a few roses in. Okay, and then I have 
these, then I'm going to take one. I might want to get a couple more of these. go grab two more of those. Let me go get those real quick. All right, well, I got two more. And I'm going to stick this one in this area here. Now, like I said, if you want to wire all of yours in, I just try to push it in. And mine is just going to be on my front door, and it shouldn't do too much moving around. Since I have a covered front porch, let's put it on here. Well, I might want to tuck in a few more roses. something else. If not, this is going to be it. Well, I did find these little things that I have. These are actually off of a bigger pick that I pulled off. And I like these little curly cue things. You get the little bit of pit berry there. Let's stick one right here. I think these are going to look not too wiry. I think that look cute there. Now we stick one right here. It's really pretty. That's going to look great on my front door. Let's go see what it looks like on the front door now. Well, I have to tell you, I really love how this wreath turned out. This was the perfect wreath to do my lemon theme with. Now, i um, pretty sure it had like white and pink flowers on it besides these little viney things and these little flowers down here. And for $6.99 or less, I think that's a good deal because I needed a big wreath to put on my front door and this one fit the bill. So this is gonna be going on the front door here pretty soon. Now, I wanted to remind everybody about the collaboration that I'm doing with Liz at Traditions by the Seasons. That's going to be this Friday the 24th. It's going to be a French country farm, a rustic farmhouse rooster theme. Now, I'm going to be doing a French country farmhouse rooster theme in my dining room over here. 
and I almost have all my spring out of there so I can start from scratch. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing, but I will be using that new white rooster that I showed you guys that I got at uh, Fitz and Floyd. That is going to do it for the video today. I hope that everybody enjoyed it and that I could give you some ideas to do a wreath for your front door. Now, I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day, and I hope that everybody stays positive, stays safe, and stays healthy. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.